Okay, I was at the bus stop the other day, last Saturday, and I overheard these two fellows talking, and one of them was telling the other guy that he was in the Army for a couple, and I served in the Iraq War in 2003, and, um, and, and, it, and I could just tell the problems he was having and and so we got to talking and the other guy um, a car stopped to pick him up and he got in the car so it was just me and this other fella this other ex um, veteran and um, he kept on telling me he was addicted to drugs and you know he he couldn't live without drugs and he felt like he you know life would not be able to go on without without drugs and I'm not gonna mention his name um, and I just and I just try to encourage him I mean this is a this is a veteran I mean these guys are their most respected people on the face of the earth. They fight for my freedom, and I respect that. So we got to talking, and and I just was encouraging him and telling him drugs is not the answer. Drugs. Um, the poor guy was he was he said heroin was the way to go. No, you know. Um, he said he had a four-year-old child, and I said, well, would you want your four-year-old child to be taking drugs? Um, um, isn't there, and then I told him, isn't there any place, any places that the, the, the military can help people in your, in your case? And it just doesn't seem, just didn't seem like he was, it rang a bell to him. But but it seemed like I was reaching out to him in one step, baby steps, one step at a time, people, in his case. And he told me all the things that I saw in the war, people getting their arms blown off and legs and people dying. And, you know, it just, I don't know what they call it, some kind of trauma or something. Maybe if there's any veterans, ex-veterans that are watching this video right now can kind of explain to me what I'm what he's going through and why he is so addicted to drugs but he had a wife he's divorced now and he had a four-year-old son or and I told him would you want your four-year-old son to be on drugs and he said oh no way and 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 when I said that I knew I was kinda getting to him to to kinda realize the how bad it is to do drugs and he understands that he has to live on it. He even told me personally, if it weren't for drugs, I'd commit suicide. But I don't think it was him stating that those those facts. But I think it was just the drugs that was because at the time he, you, I could tell he was not just high, but you you can tell when somebody's going through heroin withdrawals. And and I guarantee it, this guy was going through him. That stuff is dangerous. And um, but anyway, we we the bus was coming real soon, and and I didn't have anything else to. I mean, I I tried so hard and desperately to talk to this guy, cause he really needs a friend, you know, somebody to sit down there and talk to him and make him understand what he's doing is wrong. But yet he's a military, he's a military officer, and is somebody I respect. Is the most respectable person. He is a a person like that is a is someone who, a hey, lets me roam in my country f free from anything else. They 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 they're the best. And we should respect that. 
But anyway, the bus was bus got to the bus stop, and I told him, "How about I get you a, a round trip on the bus?" So I bought him a. a actually, he asked me. He asked me for some ten dollars and change, and I told him, "I don't have ten dollars and change, and I'm sorry I don't give money to strangers, because I you just don't know what they're gonna spend the money on." But I get I get, I got him a bus ticket. Or I got him. I bought him a bus round trip. I just didn't buy one ride. I bought him a round trip, um, and that made me feel so good. And he was so grateful for that. And when we got on the bus, we just started talking, and and I told him, you know, I was getting ready to get off at the next bus stop. Right after we got on the bus, I was getting ready to get off the bus. Because I wasn't, because I'm not on the bus very long thereafter. And I told him, be careful, and you know what the right thing for you to do is. And you, and the moral to this story is this: I, I bought, I, I just was so it made me feel so good that I was able to reach out to somebody like that, cause somebody who in that position needs a lot of love and a lot of and someday hopefully and I pray for that guy I'm a Christian I'm a devoted Christian and I pray for him that night and hopefully God will do something for him and that was my story for today and anybody who watched the rest to the ending of this movie this video clip, I appreciate it, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Sunday, because I'm going to post this up on Sunday. <laughs> Good. Y'all have a... All right.